if you have a lot of old negatives laying around somewhere in your cupboard or your old photo albums just like so what a better way to kill time rather than trying to develop them in photoshop doesn't that sound like a good experiment it actually is and the great news is it's possible however the quality of the image that comes out of these negatives depends upon three things number one lighting how you light these negatives when you take a picture of them number two of course the lens how much can the lens magnify this film so if you have a macro lens that would be the best and number three obviously the quality of the film now here comes the important question how do we take a picture of this film simple make the screen of your phone white or run a widescreen video and then keep the film in front of it and simply take a picture make sure not any other light in the room is falling on this film and then take a picture it it, it would be best if it's a dark room however whoops mother is calling i gotta pick it up now when you take a picture keep the film away from the screen you know why let me show you here's a picture of the film touching the screen it looks all right however when you zoom in have a look you look at these pixels and these banding they are not from the film they are from the phone they are from the light because they're so close that each pixel of the light is gonna show up however when you do keep a gap what happens is when you focus on the film this gets blurred and that's what i did in the second photo i simply this is too much DIY. Have a look at this. I just kept a container on this side, another container on the other side and placed the film on top of it just to create a gap and then took a photo of it. You see, there is none of that banding and all these grains that you see, that's just because the ISO of the camera was too high and I was too lazy to set up a tripod and do a long exposure. Anyway, that's how you take a photo. Now, again, if you had a macro lens, you could have made it even bigger. However, I just had to take it with my 24 to 70 because I don't have that kind of macro money. Once you take the picture, the rest of the magic will happen in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are back in the magical world of Photoshop. And if you want to go ahead and download this photo, of course, you can download this 15 year old photo by checking the links in the description. Maybe it's a 16 year old photo. I don't even know, but I look pretty small in there and fat too. So what is a negative? It is actually a negative. What do we have to do? Make it positive. And how do we make that positive? By simply inverting it. So let's create an inversion adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose invert. It does look much better. Now we need to correct the color, take away the blues and all of that can happen with curves. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. Now in here, what color in this scene or any of these scenes should have been gray or neutral figure that out so in my opinion of course his shirt should have been gray so select the middle eyedropper click on that one and just click on his shirt and have a look the colors have been improved you can also try clicking on different areas to see what looks best for you now do keep in mind this is totally non-destructive we can adjust this at any point of time and also this is art you don't have to get it absolutely accurate you just have to make it look attractive these boatmen look nice all we have to do is to increase some contrast in here so take this slider from the left to the right all right you can also hold the alt key or the option key just when you begin to see these artifacts in the image that means the details are going away from the dark area similarly let's do the same for the bright areas all right let's stop right there and then you can work the curves and maybe increase the contrast a little bit just like so if you want to adjust and edit the colors further you can go to the different channels red green or blue and make manual adjustments however to make curves visually simpler there's one more adjustment layer and that is called color balance click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose color balance just right there now do keep in mind color balance is just a simplified version of curves anything you can do in color balance can be done with curves check out this video if you want to know more about it it's just that color balance makes it simpler so we want to target the midtones so select the midtones and then just add a little more yellow to it probably just keep it the way it is probably in the shadows you want to take away the greens so let's go to the shadows and just add magenta to it magenta is the opposite of green and a little bit yellow probably some red or the opposite of it you can take all the time in the world to adjust these colors once you are happy with the colors all you got to do is to just crop it out now for different images you might have to adjust 
everything differently. Have a look. This is me and my mother. And probably all of these photos were taken by my father. Anyway, once you are happy with all of this, just crop it. So select the rectangular marquee tool or any tool of your choice. I'm going to make a square, sorry, a rectangle right there. Press C for the crop tool. Hit enter or return. Boom. There you go. Of course, we need to crop it properly and you can do that. You get the idea. So that's how we can develop a negative very easily with Photoshop. Here's the before, here's the after. And here is the final image. If you want even better result, get a macro lens or simply give it to the developers, developing stores. That would be cheaper than buying a macro lens anyway. This was a fun experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.